Hey everyone, this is my Patreon proud reaction to the 14th episode of Hanasaku Iroha. Last time we actually had Hana's mother come over to the inn and seemed to have a pretty good time. Had a really great family bonding scene at the very least. And gave a bit of a better, more positive review. The only downside is, is, is that it's not like published or anything, but you know, the feelings got across. You know, that's what matters at the end of the day. So with this episode, it looks like we're actually going to be having a new opening. But I can tell from the first frame because it definitely looks different. So that's something I'm pretty excited about. The first opening was really good. I don't expect the second ep opening to live up to the first opening. I never do. But hopefully it's uh, you know pretty good in its own way. So let's get into it and find out. Three, two, one, play. Well, that was a pretty cool opening shot. <laughs> On all alone on the train. But of course we gotta have running in the is openings. <laughs> Don't get Hana wet. It's Minko's job. <laughs> uh, you you go. But yeah, so much running as always. Okay, I can never run the train. I don't care how much running practice you get in these openings. Wake up, Hana. It's time for the episode. <laughs> and then she sits still while other people run. Nice change of pace. Okay, yeah, that was a pretty good opening. I don't think it lived up to the first one, but more importantly, we have a beach episode, it seems like. That is always more important than whatever I was talking about before. What? Why? You should not cover up that much skin on the beach. That should be a crime. Yeah, come on, join us. That's... I, everyone will appreciate it. You look very nice in your swimsuit, Hana. <laughs> that face. Uh, I think she <laughs> may have hit the nail on the head. <laughs> so, let's see yours. Hana looks straight into hers, so... Poof. Yeah, you, <laughs> you picked a good one. Yeah, and you wear it well. I mean, damn, do you wear it well. <laughs> uh, of course, yours is good too, Han. Don't get me wrong. Just excellent camera placement there. I like how we just linger in that spot. <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess we're not taking no for an answer. <laughs> You're coming, Minko. You're gonna show us what's under there. <laughs> Man, this looks pretty uh, I'm excited. <laughs> they definitely enjoyed it. And we're just gonna toss her on in. And... <laughs> she may be a Hobie Roan, but you're wet. So, who's the real winner here? I like how as they were swinging her side to side, or she almost knocked the camera over with her butt. Like, it got pretty close. Yeah, so it's kinda hard to see hers because she was moving so much, but hers was nice too. Uh, I see. I had a Greek customer, had us at the table. Yeah, she loves her job, what can I say? Another in. It feels like we're cheating on her own in. Yeah, she's as popular as always. Uh oh. Can you sing, Hana? I'm not sure if you can, but I guess we'll find out. Well, she seems to have confidence. Doesn't guarantee anything, though. I don't know. 
Of course they did. <laughs> that makes way too much sense. I mean, I guess fine. <laughs> uh. <laughs> well, I'm sure that was great. Yeah, looks pretty nice. So many 3D animated students. <laughs> I would love to see Anna like criticize some other, some aspects of this in. Like make comments like we treat customers way better at our end than this place. Like that'd be pretty funny to see stuff like that. Kind of like what her mother did, you know, It'd be family, family trait you could say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it's a good experience because you get to see what it feels like to be a customer, what they might want. Uh, yeah, that's probably not great for s some some jobs. <laughs> she kind of reminds me of Minko a little bit. I understand the way she talked. Of course, she knows him. Well, he seems to be happy to see her. <laughs> I guess. <coughs> I don't think they approve this, approve of this guy. Don't neglect the other boys, you know. They'll get jealous and probably end up murdering this guy. Yeah, it does make sense why she would know him if that's his position. Oh. Okay. Oh, well that's just... Okay, that's a big detail to just have at the end there. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, pretty lucky, I guess. Yeah, it's hard to compete with that. I are we sure? Why is why is likely is she not the protagonist of this show? Uh, it's okay. Interesting way to walk. What's... Oh, well then. Well, that's how you handle it. <laughs> you clearly were, though. Well then. Well, yeah, you do look quite good in yours, Minko. Well, so much for not giving him a chance to confess, because he, he did. It's a work in progress. <laughs> it swims in almost like a 90 kind of thing, doesn't it? I did not know it was an abbreviation. <laughs> Smooth. I don't know, Hana. You're the one telling me. You, you are also as young as they are, so. You just don't have a fiance and, uh, you know, all that stuff. Or a guy is regularly asking you out, you know. But it's surprising, because you are pretty great. <coughs> yeah, just yell that to everyone. Well, what else would you say, really? It kind of is a lame, generic answer. Oh, and here I thought you rejected him because you had a fiancé. Silly me.
Somebody did ask you out it was a long time ago, but... Yeah, she gets confessions all the time, so it's probably a little bit different. Yeah, so you get the chance to crush someone. I bet it does. You do seem like the type. Basically the opposite of Minko in a lot of ways. He's really is. <laughs> uh, she really does just come across as such a, you know, stereotypical high school girl. Some of her phrases, the way she speaks and acts, you know. Nothing wrong with that. Competitive swimsuits. Yeah, she was kind of bothered by that. I think she just said you're a hobiron and that was the response. But yeah, we're all friends. We hang out. We bathe together, polish each other. It's great. Can you not do that at your end? Yeah, this is a very nice place. Our end is a little bit different than yours, okay? I'll leave it at that. <laughs> yeah. We would not be able to give each customer their deserved amount of attention with this many people. And she really just a bad employee, is she? Isn't she? Like, that would never happen at the Kisuian. <laughs> wow. The, yeah, quality assurance with employees is definitely lower with, in, in this place. Because, yeah, that would never happen at our place. Really kills the atmosphere. I'll be taking this. Oh, no, you don't have to fix that. It's You don't work here. <laughs> but, you know, not go helping. But I get it, though. It bothered me a little bit, too. I'm sure it'll be fun. Sure it'll be great. What could possibly change? Okay, those subs disappeared way too way sooner than they should have. Doesn't everyone? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, maybe you should think about this one. <laughs> yeah, you know. Doesn't that make things clear? I guess it's like Gambaru, but I'm not sure what's different about it. Oh, okay. Okay, then. <laughs> yeah, I... You got my approval. We will bun butter together all night. <clears throat> yeah. Minko, feeling a little bit jealous over there? I think you are. You want to bun butter with Hana? I know. I think it was a robot. Not sure. I want to complain about him yelling a lot, but, like, he has some terrible customers, t terrible employees that he has to deal with, so I can't blame him for all the yelling. <laughs> uh, these are my friends. One's very short. 
you probably never heard of well, I was going to say you probably never heard of it, but I guess he beat me to that one. Man, that girl with long hair looks perpetually butthurt, doesn't she? <laughs> that explains a lot. <laughs> uh, what are you looking at? You got something to say, then say it. <laughs> Just after seeing so much of the Kisui in and how it runs and, you know, the waitresses and their attitude, seeing this is just really, uh, I don't know, it's just a little bit disillusioning. <laughs> There's so much bad attitude around here. What are you looking at, Hana? Oh. Oh, that's a great view. What's splashing, though? A dolphin? Or a boat? I, I didn't see anything. I just saw splashing water. <laughs> yeah, I kind of was looking forward to the bath, but I guess this is more important, so whatever it is. Oh! Is somebody just actually swimming out here? Is that what it is? Uh Oh no, that's probably Nako. She said something about swimming, didn't she? Uh Yeah, that's Nako. Man, she is so much bigger than Han, isn't she? <laughs> that's what you were out here for? Because you were excited to see a Kappa? Headband just looks kind of silly. I'm gonna put that out there. <laughs> Okinawa dialect is uh, something. I didn't think that was possible. Yeah, you've also gotten cuter, Kyosuke. Need better employees if we're gonna do that. She needs to say that. Well, yeah, it sounds like a pretty good arrangement for you. Okay. He seems pretty set on this, but you know, knowing her, she might not be a big fan of that. Yes, we keep talking about this, but I've yet to see it happen. <laughs> Quick, hi, she's coming. I mean, it's pretty easy to understand. She doesn't want, she doesn't like the end life as much as some of the people around her do, and she wants to do something bigger, better, fancier, different, and, uh, whew. Something's clearly on her mind. I know it's on my mind, but... What? It's already over. Okay, she had to, to complain about something. I'm sure that's what she all, all she ever does. She, she looks like the type that only complains and badmouths other people.
<laughs> uh, yeah, I don't think she's a big fan of her manager. That's also kind of an impression I'm getting. I'm not saying he's a perfect manager either. I know it sounds like I'm levying all the blame on them, but... I'm mostly just trying to say this seems like a fairly dysfunctional end for how, you know, popular it seems to be. That's my main overall point. <laughs> But as a manager, I don't think he works with his employees as much as he maybe should. Like listening to them, taking feedback and how to improve things. But most of what we see from him is just kind of getting mad at them not doing things the way they should. Which is fair, of course. But... Well then... And they're quitting, aren't they? I guess that's what she came there to say. Which you would have known if he was actually listened to what she was going to say. <laughs> yeah, yeah he, she's got a point. You can't really say anything to that. But yeah, that's what managers are supposed to do. Didn't you know that? Uh, yeah, I really don't like these girls. They were t they were terrible employees, and they're just copying such an attitude. I mean, it kind of depends on the person, but. But yeah, this is turning more back onto her, how she feels. Yeah. There's a lot of bad news being thrown at him all of a sudden, huh? I feel a little bit bad for him. But I have a feeling Hana and them will probably help out. You know, they're, they're all good girls. They are experienced working at inns. I'm sure they'll be more than happy to help out with this. But yeah, I really don't like those girls that are quitting. They just have such a bad attitude for so much, disrespecting the rules that, that are clearly there in the manual, and then acting like it's his fault that they're being bad employees. But yeah, he definitely should have actually listened to what she had to say when she came there the last night. That is still definitely true. Because he didn't, which just pissed her off, which made her care even less about giving them any kind of prior notice of quitting. So just, uh, what would you call it? What's the phrase? Uh, a comedy of errors, I, guess, I think, but something like that. But yeah, the girls clearly don't have the right mentality for this kind of job. That was made blatantly clear throughout this episode. And I can probably imagine what kind of job a lot of those girls will end up getting with their attitude. If you know what I mean. Okay, that was the 14th episode of Hanasaku, Hanasaku Iroha, and this episode, basically the big thing was we got to go to a different inn. I mean, we've been, we've seen other inns in the show before, you know, for example, Yuina's family inn. That was the biggest one, because that one was kind of seen as a bit of a rival to the Kisui inn, but, you know, not really a rival, because it's, it's more successful, popular, and all that stuff. You know, the Kisui inn's always been more of a operating on minimalistic you know customers and 
staff and all that. Like, it just doesn't have these sort of big, huge dinners and stuff like we see at this end. You know, so it's not as if the viewing us in ever saw Kisuke as a real rival or anything like that, but, you know, they are there. They do kind of compete for the same pool of people. But there's this other end that we saw this episode, which seems to also be pretty well off. The manager seems to have pretty high ambitions for it to be the best in in Japan or whatever. And what's cool about this one is that it's actually near the beach. Like, you could actually see the water from the, the, the end. Like, Anna saw that. She thought she saw a kappa. It was not a kappa. It was just uh, Naka, Naka <laughs> swimming around as she does. Because she mentioned something about a uh, swimsuit. What'd she call it? Not professional swimsuit. Uh, I can't remember what she called it, but, you know. You know the scene I'm talking about. But anyway, yeah, this uh, this play is definitely very different than Kisubi, and in a lot of ways, it was a very interesting experience for Hana because she's not really used to being on this other on this side of things. You know, she's used to dealing with customers, but now she is a customer. So it is a pretty valuable experience for her in that regard. To, just you know, to, to be to have a new perspective and also to see kind of how a different in, different end does things. You know, maybe get some good ideas from them. Maybe see some bad things to avoid doing that kind of thing. And of course, it's because there was a beach nearby, it was sort of a beach episode. Well, I mean, there wasn't a lot of time spent on the beach, but we did get a little bit. It's better than nothing. We got to see them in their swimsuits. They all looked pretty great in them. Anna, Nako. Well, actually, I don't think we saw Nako in that scene. I mean, we might have. I know we saw Yuina. Actually, I'm going to go back to that scene. I'm starting to... Things are starting to blend together in my head. So I want to see exactly what we got. So, we, yeah, we had Hana go first to Minka to try to get her to, you know, to undress to her swimsuit and go swimming. Because she was looking really just hot and stuffy in that outfit over there. And uh, yeah, we got Yui Nai in her sw swimsuit, which was great. Yeah. I wasn't sure if Nako was in that scene or not, but no, she wasn't. They just both grabbed her and whoosh! They threw that Hobie Road right in the water. <laughs> of course, uh, you know, Han actually went in the water too, funnily enough. But she didn't actually know it was the first time, but that's pretty funny. So they both look great in their swimsuit. Minko looked great in her swimsuit. We had some singing on the bus, which is a lot of fun. You and us, I mean, Anna singing her Enka. That was pretty, pretty good. Also, yeah, you and up knows the manager here, fiance, you know, all that sort of thing. So that was a bit of a surprise to some people, you know, the boys now have a little bit less of a chance than they thought they did with her. But she still likes getting to love confession, so, you know, I don't think she'd ever be too mean to somebody that did that as a result. But still, mean enough to have the fun of rejecting someone, I'm sure. But she wasn't the only one that got that. It was also Minko, who, right before that, she was like, yeah, well, if she really had someone she liked, she wouldn't even let people have a chance to confess to her or whatever. And then that happens to Minko, and he gets the full-on confession out, regardless of what she wanted. So that kind of may have messed up her argument a little bit there. But it was, uh, it was funny. But yeah, no random guy, nameless guy, is going to have a chance with Minko, that's for sure. I mean, Hana has a better chance of Minko than those of us, any of those guys. We did have a lot of talk in the future with this episode, because Hana, you know, she was kind of talking to Yuina about the waitress experience and how Yuina has more, you know, kind of, as a child, was, you know, taught all this waitress stuff. And Hana was a little bit jealous of having that kind of advantage, you know, because she'd become a better waitress at that point. But then you end up said, so, you, the waitress is like what you want to be, like, in your life, like, you know, as a career or whatever. And Hana kind of was a little bit taken aback by that, because she hadn't really thought too hard about the future. You know, all she really knows is that right now she's a waitress at this inn, and she's doing her best in that regard. But that's the thing, the future. Yuina doesn't want to be a waitress in the future. That was pretty obvious from everything about her character, really. So it shouldn't be too much of a shocker, but you had uh, Kosaka, what was his name? The fiancé dude, the manager. He clearly wanted to have that kind of life with her, you know, as the the the, the lady of the, of the establishment, you know, married to him and all that, becoming the number one in and all that, but she, I don't think that's the life she wants, and she made that pretty clear by the end of the episode. And I don't want to harp on it too much, because I did, you know, talk about this a lot in the reaction itself, but 
the 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 four the female employees as we saw the waitresses we saw in the end like I just never liked them everything about them was unlikable their attitude disregard disregard of the rules you know their basic attitude and response to being scolded for breaking the rules just everything about them was so insufferable that it was a really stark contrast to the kind of you know, wonderful, hardworking, respectable wages as we have over at the Kisui Inn. It's just a night and day difference. So that was certainly interesting to see. Which did end up with them just quitting. All four of them at the same time. Which is pretty messed up, because I think that was like all their waitresses, so... But like I said, it's pretty easy to predict what's going to happen next. Hana, at the very least, and probably Minko and Nako as well. Maybe even Yuina, who knows? There's a chance for that, I guess. Are going to pinch in, because it does make four. But they're going to pinch in and pitch in and help, you know? Because at the very least, Hana's going to do that. I would be absolutely shocked if Hana didn't at least volunteer to do that. She cleaned up shoes without even being asked to. Like, you know, they're, they're probably going to help out with that. It's almost guaranteed to be next episode's plot is them you know scrambling around to, to help despite the fact it's supposed to be like a vacation for them but it'll be a good experience i'm sure but hopefully also the hopefully the manager also learned a little bit of a lesson here about actually listening to your employees a little bit more you know and not just uh disregarding them as much as he does and they seem to take issue with him leaving them to work there as he went off with his girlfriend but i mean it's not really that bad of a thing i mean Managers don't have to be around constantly. They do kind of assume you can handle some basic stuff for a certain amount of time. But, you know, uh, I can see how that could rub you the wrong way. But, you know, still. If the manager wants to take out time off to go for a walk with his girlfriend that's visiting, he has the right to do that. But maybe he shouldn't have uh, flaunted it so much in front of them, I guess. I don't I don't know. I don't know what, what would have been a better way to handle that, but it was something they were salty about, definitely. <laughs> And you gotta love Hana just looking out the window, seeing splashing. Her first assumption is, oh, a kappa! And then was very disappointed when it was just a Nako in a swimsuit. But yeah, a uh, pretty good episode. It'll be interesting to see next episode and how things go. So, yeah. Thank you for watching, and a special thanks to Snokey for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment, because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.